Okay, good day everyone. Welcome to SuperG's webinar. Today our topic is inspect and update in real time, a SuperG's utility solution. I'm your host today. I'm Patty from the SuperGeo sales and marketing team and here I'm with our senior technical support from our GI center. Olivia, please. Hello everyone. In today's webinar, if you have any question, feel free to share with us. You can either um, send your question via the uh, GoToWebinar application or drop us an email to staff at supergeotech.com or follow us on Twitter or Facebook. So before to start our webinar today, there is one quick poll that I want to ask you guys to help us and we will be back in one minute. Okay, thank you everyone. Thank you for helping us to do the quick poll. It seems like everyone today here already knows about SuperG's software, but not everyone have used or own a SuperG's software license. But don't worry, you can always get a free trial on our supergeotech.com, our official website. So here is the uh, uh, SuperGIS Pro roadmap that I want, would like to, you to take a quick view. As you can see here, no matter server GIS or desktop GIS or mobile GIS, all the Super GIS products are developed based on our developer GIS. And today we will mainly focus on the mobile GIS, the SuperPad uh, application on Windows and Windows Mobile. Also, we will also talk about SuperG desktop and SuperG server to edit, manage, publish your map on the web. So here is the overview of our mobile app SuperPad. SuperPad is professional mobile GIS app that can help you to do GIS data collecting, editing, and managing. And it's totally standalone and ready to use on Windows Mobile and Windows OS which means you can use your laptop or tablet, which is Windows OS, to collect field data. Also, SuperPad provides you with a better survey experience. You can use SuperPad to elevate data precision with external GNSS receiver and also activate post-processing or NTRIP extension for better data quality. Here is the um, main feature of uh, SuperPad. As you can see, we divide to two different parts, GNSS and GIS. For the GNSS part, as uh, previously mentioned, that you can apply NTRIP service or connect it to the external GNSS receiver or save your data as post-processingable data. But of course, this really depends on uh, which uh, handheld devices you are using. And for the GIS function, we, uh, SuperPad is offline GIS data editing and uh, we provide abound, abundant best map including OpenStreetMap or you can um, import your own raster data like MISSIT, JPEG 2000 and you can do query, identify, measure and also connect it to the cloud service like OGC or the service published by SuperG server. Besides, uh, SuperPad also provides on the fly projection so that you don't have to waste time in convert between different coordinate systems. And also there's a unique a function we call a relational table which Olivia will show you in a later in this webinar. So it's finally um, our main topic today. Um, our, main top, our topic today is inspect and update in real time a SuperG's utility solution. Um, Olivia, I wonder why we choose um, utility and uh, what we're going to learn about SuperG's solution in today's webinar. Okay, thank you for Patty's uh, introduction. And today, I will introduce the case. An OEO provider want to uh, build a map web website to show the utility locations, like a main course, the valve sites. And they also want to make a marker onto the map once the inspectors found it could be a facility problem. So in this case, first, I need to get the utility positions. And those positions I collected need to be much precise to prevent dangerous in other constructions in the future. So I choose SuperPay and connect it to an external RTK GNSS receiver to capture utility locations. And why do I select this combination? 
Superbase supports to connect to an external GNSS receiver by Bluetooth and supports Entrip solution. It means that I can choose an RTK GNSS receiver connected by Bluetooth to collect my data. Here I use High Target V100. It's capable of achieving some meter level accuracy. In addition, Superbase has Windows PC version and Windows Mobile version. We know that tablet is more and more common now. So it's very convenient for me to bring my tablet out to do the field work. Besides, Superpad integrates GIS and GPS technologies. The data you collected is a standard GIS format. So you can apply the data directly in any GIS software. Moreover, Superpad is not only a serving application, but also provides many tool sets, including attribute editing, offline or online best map overlaying, server connection, or laser tool to make your work efficiently. So I choose this combination to collect data. And there's, and there's our today's agenda. I will show you the entry solution to do positioning and make a utility map and share this map online by SuperJuice server. Then an inspector's font is possible to be a facility problem. They can mark this position and synchronize onto the map in the real time. In the meanwhile, I will give you a smart tool to edit the attribute information, making your field work more efficiently. Okay, let's see the first part, activate Entrip solution. In the past, we mostly used the DGPS to collect data. The accuracy of this method is close to one meter, and the disadvantage of this method is that you are not able to get precision location at that moment. You need to wait one more day to download the correction data from the IGS website. Then transfer to a computer running the post-processing software to improve the accuracy location. Besides, we usually did the survey work via mobile devices. It means that in order to collect data, you need at least two software and two platforms. It sounds a bit inconvenient and maybe cost more money. So now, Entrip solution is commonly used in surveying application. The Entrip means transmit the differential correlation signals to the end user over the internet. You can see this picture. A surveyor does positioning with RTK by Entrip. The second line we estimate a position and transmit the signals to the data center by internet. So make sure you have internet connection as using this way. And in meanwhile, there is a reference station, which is a no point. It will broadcast the actual position to the data process center too. So the data process center will calculate and send the correlation signals to the receiver station. It's a real-time correlation service to improve the positional accuracy. In the best situation, the accuracy could be reached the submitter level. So in my case, I use SuperPay and V100 to bring my field work into submit level. You can see it was my uh, working situation, uh, this picture. I got a fraud RTK and reached submit accuracy level. Now, let's see an accuracy test. I went to a control point and stayed there for one hour getting continuously points by SuperPay and V100. I utilize both GPS and RTK to collect data. We can see this picture. The green ones represent loss capture by GPS, and those yellow ones are cut via our RTK technology. We will find those green ones are far away from the control point, but after configured to entry, the points captured are convergent and close to the control point. I measure the distance between the uh, center point of GPS collected and control point in SuperJuice desktop. The distance is reached to 2.3 meters, but for the center of RTK points and control points, the distance is about 0.4 meters. So it's obvious we can see RTK shows higher precision and accuracy than GPS. And also, I use a program to calculate the position accuracy. Left is for GPS, and the right-hand side is the value of RTK. 
First, we can see the twice root mean square errors. Each value of RTK is smaller than GPS. And then we look the difference between the average and true. It means determine a central point from the data set and estimate the distance between the true point and this central point. It also obvious for the RTK, each error is below one uh, centimeter. He can prove that SuperPay and V100 can achieve some meter level. And here I prepare a demo to do the uh, entry setting. Okay. Okay. And you can see this is the uh, interface of SuperPad. And firstly, if you want to use the uh, entry solution, you need to uh, activate the entry extension in Customize here. So I already checked the box. And then you will see an icon show here. And first, you need to do the entry setting. We support many kind of uh, chips. And this time, I just use V100. And for the comport and bow rate, uh, because each machine has the different comport and bow rate. So you had better to check out the hardware uh, spec. Okay, and then you just type in your uh, Enchipcaster IP, your port, username, and password, then to uh, select the service you are going to use, okay? And now you can see now there's no byte to uh, come in. Then I activated the Enchip services. Okay, so Olivia, uh, how do we know if I successfully connect the Enchip service or uh, what kind of left did I achieve? Okay, uh, if you connect already connect to the entry services, uh, the green one, uh, the word will show green, and it will, and the byte will show some uh, figure. It means you already got the connection, and from okay, you can see now we already got the connection from the entry services. Okay, and here you also can. Uh, check the uh, GPS status, like we can uh, check, we can click here to collect the GPS icon to know how um, many GPS we got, okay? And, sorry, okay, like this one, we can know how many, uh, GP, how many GPS we, how many satellite we have, and the uh, GPS uh, detail information we can get here, and you already show the more in the GPS status, okay? And uh, you you also can uh, overlay a best map. We uh, support many kind of uh, open stream map. Like this time, I just use the Cardo DB to check is it my is it really my uh, actual actual position or not. So you just zoom in to see. Uh, Ring to check is it a uh, actual position or not. So you can see this is the uh, headquarter of SuperGeo. Okay. Okay. Let's back to our slide. Okay. Thank you, Olivia, for the uh, first half introduction of uh, SuperPay and entry settings. And it's nine. Uh, it's time for us to take a short break. And during this short break, we still have uh, another quick poll. And the question here is, which mobile GIS feature do you need? Okay, and we'll be back in two minutes. Okay, everyone, welcome back. And here I would like to share the poll result with you. And 44% of our audience today, uh, the most uh, uh, important mobile GIS feature for them is support high precision positioning. And uh, the second one is integrate OGC map service. And don't worry, SuperPay support both. Okay, so um, let's go back to the, our slide and uh, our topic. In the first half of our webinar today, Olivia has shown us how to use SuperPad and activate Entrip solution to reach um, higher um, data position. So Olivia, I wonder uh, what we're going to um, apply this kind of data and how SuperGIS can bring us for more applications. Okay, in this part, I utilize localized data to make a utility map and share it by SuperGIS server. Firstly, sorry. Firstly, I use SuperGIS desktop to manage the collected data 
and address the color or change the symbology and then save it as a SGD file. And SGD file is a project file made by SuperJuice Desktop. Then publish this file, uh, this map from the SuperJuice server, so we can view this map in browser or a mobile device. Now I'm about to show how to make an online map. Okay. So you can see this is the in this is the interface of the uh, SuperJuice Desktop, and I added my collected data here and I change the symbology and I adjust the color and after to design this map I just save it as a SGD file and then I'm going to publish this uh, map by SuperJuice server. So you can see this is the uh, interface of SuperJuice server manager and I just type in my uh, username and password to connect to the uh, SuperJuice server manager. So as you uh, connect it to the uh, SuperJuice Server Manager, you can see here is a service tab, and you will see all the uh, services you publish will be listed here. And now we just can click here to add a new uh, new uh, services, okay? And just indicate where is my uh, SGD file. Okay, then publish it. So after you publish, we will be uh, here. Here is a table to show our published services here. And we just go to, and then we can just use the SuperJuice server to make a, a, UT, make a Ultra website, okay? And I already uh, created one, so we just see this map, okay? And you can see this is the, our default Ultra website. And we have some um, tool here and maybe we need to uh, wait for some time to uh, load this map site. Okay, so do we need to um, wait for every time we load it or just the first time load? Okay, just the first, first time we need to wait because we need to initialize the map, okay? So you can see this is the uh, default website and we have some tool here. We have, uh, you can zoom in and you have your title here and we can see our uh, map and I overlap an online stream map. And in our uh, SuperJuice server, we uh, support uh, many kind of uh, open stream map, but for the default, we just support a standard uh, open stream map. So if you want to change to another uh, kind of uh, open stream map, you need to customize, okay? So this is the default website. And here I customize uh, I use the SuperJuice server for uh, API to customize my uh, Ultra website. So you can see I change my best map to the CuddleDB and also I can identify each uh, feature so it will pop out a window to show my to show me the detailed information. Okay, and it's uh, published by the SuperJuice server. Okay. And now we need to uh, back to our slide to go on our uh, show, okay? And here, I'm, so in this part, I will give you a smart uh, tool to note the facility, facility status to make the field work more easily, and besides, you can update the data in real time. Okay, uh, when the patrolman checked the facilities, uh, they may need to record the problem position and note its situation. The problem facility location could be recorded by GPS, and we can uh, classify the situations in relational table. For example, we can classify the damage items in the uh, parent mode, and then set up the possible situations for each damage item in child node. It means as you choose the specific damage item, the corresponding situations will be listed in the drop-down menu. So you can previously create and classify the needed information in relational table to avoid keying the same information again and again. So by this way, it can save much time as you did the check work. And also, if the check result is needed to be assured, 
this layer is able to be published by SuperJuice server, so the technicians can access to this map by SuperPay in the field to check the facility problem, and later other inspectors also can do the facility inspection by accessing to this map and synchronize the result to the map. So here I'm going to show how to uh, use SuperPay to connect to the uh, uh, SuperJuice server and to do the synchronize. Okay. So you can see this is the um, interface of SuperPay. And first, I'm going to show how to connect to SuperJuice server. So here you just type in your, um, IP, your uh, server IP information and assign your password and your username. Then choose the uh, services you publish. Okay, like utility map, we just publish, we just publish in the last part. Okay, and here you will show the services already um, come into the super pad. Okay, so you can zoom in to check, and if the inspector and if if the inspector want to uh, do the uh, want to note the facility status, they can use the um, attribute. A table. They can use the relation table to help them to uh, note the facility status more quickly. So I need to do some settings. Firstly, I need to activate the uh, editing mode, okay? And then I use the attribute setting to set up the uh, relation table, like for the damage item. Maybe I can, I can have the like the main horse and the get valve so I just add my the damage item the possible damage item into here okay and then I also can set up the set up the possible situation for each uh, damage item like in the situation I can set up the possible uh, situation but here I need to because I want to use the relation table. So here, for the parent parent font, I can select the items, and you can see here I can choose for a uh, main horse. Maybe it's a possible situation is dent or missing part. Missing part. Okay, and. I also need to specify the main whore for her uh, parent's value. Okay, so if you to do the uh, check work, you can uh, add, you can add marker the position by the GPS like this one. Okay, by this one capture point using GPS. But now I'm inside the door. I'm inside it. Inside, so I can get the uh, GPS signal. So I just uh, tap on the uh, screen anywhere. So I'm just uh, at the point. So you can see for the items, I can choose for main court. I can search. I oh, no, sorry. I can uh, select the situation from the drop-down menu. So it's very uh, helpful for uh, very helpful for the uh, inspector to uh, note its facility status. So they don't need to uh, key in the same uh, information again and again. Okay, so after you finish like here, so after you uh, finish to uh, collect your data, you can also synchronize your layer again to the server. So I just synchronize the data to the uh, SuperJuice server. So. Quickly, you can from your uh, website to check the facility uh, problem again. So you can see here, I already um, add, I already add a new uh, problem. New, uh, I already add a new uh, problem position for the uh, technician. So they can uh, arrive here to uh, do some repair work. Okay, and. Let's uh, move, go on to uh, our slide. Okay, uh, for the conclusion, um, in the first part, I introduced how to activate and trip a solution to do the positioning. And then, uh, 
use the uh, collected data to make up an online map by SuperG server, then you can use the um, relation table to help you to note the facility status, and then you can synchronize the uh, check result to the SuperG server. Okay, thank you, Olivia, for the um, very unclear and uh, overall the SuperG solution introduction, including not only a mobile GIS super pair, but also desktop GIS and also server GIS. And I hope in today's webinar, we will give you a clear uh, overview of SuperG's solution. So here is the uh, what SuperPad supports. We support a different kind of list, rest layers, including SGR, BMP, GIF, PNG, Mr. Seat, and also JPEG 2000. And for the feature layers, we support our of uh, own data format including GEO and also the most popular one, Shapefile. And besides, if you don't have enough budget to publish or build up your own map website, we support OGC standards so that you can connect it to the published OGC service on your Windows Mobile or Windows um, handheld devices. And the, the system requirements of SuperPad for the Windows Mobile is 5 or 6 series, and for the Windows is 7, 8, or 10. We, su we also speak, um, support different languages, including English, Arabic, Spanish, Portuguese, German, French, Italian, Russian, Turkish, Pol Polish, Japanese, Korean, and our mother tongue, Chinese. And if you um, don't have Windows or Windows mobile uh, mobile devices, there will be no problem because we also uh, support Android and iOS. We have another um, GIS data collecting map called SuperSurf. You can use also get it from the Google Play or App Store to get a free trial and search more information from the internet and our official website. And also, we would like to share more about SuperG's and our GIS technology with you. You can simply learn more. You can, as you are in our regular webinar today, we also have a SuperG's free online courses. And also, if you have any specific questions, you can simply live in on the SuperGeo forum. And we also provide a different kind of um, free source to customize your map website in SuperGeo Develop Network. And there are a lot of abundant resources, including the previous webinar and also some um, little fun uh, function videos on our SuperGeo TV. So it's finally uh, an, our last poll today. And after this poll, we'll, there will be a QA time. So if you have any question, please also let us know and leave in the question box while go to webinar application. And our last question today is, which feature of SuperPad do you like the most? And we'll be back in three minutes. Okay, everyone, welcome back. And, uh, oh, sorry. Here, I would like to share the poll result with you. And it seems like every, um, there are 40% of our users love the, all the features of we have introduction uh, introduced about SuperPad today. And of course, other, uh, there are also some other options, most very important for other users, like the higher positioning. And uh, um, you can also get a free trial from the uh, Super, supergeotech.com. All the SuperG software can be downloaded from the uh, supergeotech.com and get a free trial, which is totally free and uh, full function. And finally, our QA time. So let's see. Um, our first question today is, uh, can I show all the TOC on the website? Okay. And Olivia, please. Okay. Um, as you can see in my demo, users can click the feature and see its attribute table by the uh, pop-out info window. If you want to see all the uh, table of content, you need to customize the website to see all the TLC. Ah, okay, thank you very much for the good questions. And the second one is, can I use data from QGIS for desktop in SuperPad? Uh, okay, this, uh, I can answer these questions. 
if your file is saved as shape file or geo file, you can import it to SuperPress. So no matter uh, which um, GIS desktop software are you using, if the file is saved as the most common used shape file, you can import to your uh, import to SuperPress. There will be no problem. And the third question is, uh, what REST data formats does SuperPass support? Does there uh, does SuperPass support any free online map like a OSM, Google Map? Okay, the first questions that we also share with you that the uh, the data specs that we support here for the REST data uh, REST data SuperPass support. HGR, BMP, GIF, PNG, Mr. Seed, ECW, Lentif, GOTIF, JPEG, and JPEG 2000. And for the um, free online map, uh, as also we show in the demo, we support uh, OpenStreetMap. And also, after you up, uh, apply the key from the Bing Map, you can also use Bing Map on SuperPad. We do not support a uh, Google Map yet. Okay, so it seems like... Uh, uh, we have to say goodbye to you because the time limitation. Uh, we hope to see you uh, in the next time. If you still have any question that we didn't answer you in this webinar, please uh, send us an email or uh, follow us on Twitter. We will be glad to reply to you. Thank you very much to join our webinar today. Goodbye. See you later.